of a funeral home where almost 200 decomposing bodies were found are now under arrest facing a number of charges. Good afternoon to you all. I'm Kennedy Cook. Now those charges relate to the 190 decomposing bodies found in the return to nature funeral home in Penrose. John Hallford and Carrie Hallford were arrested in Oklahoma where each is being held on a $2 million cash bond while they await extradition. Our Michael Abeda has covered this since the investigation began last month and joins us from Colorado Springs. Michael, lots to talk about just how hard this has been for investigators as well as those families impacted. That's right, Kennedy. You know, emotions are high here in Colorado Springs, but information is scarce as the DA announced the arrest of the owners of that return to nature funeral home. Now, the DA said that he's keeping it tight lipped because he wants to make sure to protect the case, but he would say that early Wednesday morning, John and Carrie Halford, the owners of return to nature funeral home, were arrested in Oklahoma without incident on suspicion of committing the crimes of abuse of a corpse, theft, money laundering, and forgery. All of those low level felonies. This all stems from an investigation that started in October when neighbors to their funeral home reported a smell a foul smelling odor coming from the area. When the Fremont County Sheriff searched the facility, they found improperly stored decomposing bodies. The DA announced today they believe they are there are 190 individuals dating back to 2019. We spoke with one mother. Her name is Crystal pa or Christina Page, whose son was shot and killed by the El Paso County Sheriff's deputies in 2019. She trusted Return to Nature with her son's remains and got an urn, but was notified her son's body was one of the people found in the funeral home in Pueblo. She says this has re-traumatized her and the other families that have been affected all over again. We will never know what our families are actually carrying. Um, some of them may be concrete dust. Some of them may be other things. Um, we won't ever know. Um, so it's... I can't even describe the emotions that our families are going through. Now, you may wonder why the DA in El Paso County is handling this case instead of the DA in Fremont County. Well, that's because Return to Nature had a funeral home based out of Colorado Springs. In Colorado Springs, Michael Aveta covering Colorado First. All right, Michael, thank you for that report. Governor Polis has provided state help in this investigation and issued a statement saying, I am relieved that criminal charges have been brought against the funeral home owner and a criminal investigation is proceeding. I know this will not bring...